Hey guys, my name is Andy Lozano. I'm superintendent out here at Wafford City, North Dakota. Uh, we're building this high school out here. I've been here for about uh, four months now. And I wanted to give you guys a tour of what we got going on out here, the areas that we're lacking, and the things that we still need to work on so we can button up this project. We're coming to the end of this, uh, of this school, and uh, I just wanted to give you a tour of what we've done out here, what we, uh, what we're still missing and uh, just so you guys can get an idea of what's going on out here. So uh, let's check it out. So this where we're walking up to now, this is actually a uh, main entrance for the high school. This is main entrance, this is main level. Uh, phase this is a uh, main level area B Juan Castillo we got Jose Contreras so in this area here we're working on these ceilings on all these hard lid ceilings in here um, as you can see we haven't been able to finish these walls back here due to uh, plumbing they have to run some they have to run some plumbing from these pipes. They have to uh, stop them out, and we haven't been able to. There's little areas like that throughout this project where we haven't been able to. So, as far as this main entrance goes, this is what we're working with. These rooms are all 100% complete. In fact, they're already all painted. set to go again this is another one of those areas where uh, we've had to hold off because of situations like this um, they have a they have a control box that needs access but it's right in the middle of our shaft walls you can see up there it's this guy right here so that's one of the things that uh, I'm pushing the general contractor to, to get moving on quick so I can finish those minor things up. So as far as main level goes, we are all complete as far as drywall and framing goes. These are the classrooms. So after a couple weeks or months of waiting for it, we finally got that fry riglet that goes right here. We, you know, we've been waiting on that one for two months. So we finally got that in. This is what that scratch coat of plaster looked like. So these are actually the last couple walls that we're working on. And these guys are done with that plaster stuff. As you can see, these guys are already behind us painting. This is that area where we're missing that fried riglet. But again, that just came in. This is one of the bigger things that I have here at this school that I need to work on. All these columns go wrapped, but I have a, a, a hard lit ceiling that goes in, the, in this, in this uh, stairway here. So I have to come up, I have to figure out on um, scaffold wise so I can get this complete here. So this room, this is a, this is upper level area A. These are all more complete. As you can see, these are all painted, and these is where our uh, plaster is all on this. So all these corridors are all with plaster. It has that high impact. We have high impact sheetrock, the base coat of imperial and imperial veneer that are on these walls.
So all these ones are all pretty much complete. This this is all complete up here. All imperial veneer in here. We're still waiting on uh, what they were going to decide on doing with this if uh, they were going to contact you, Tim, to see if we were going to put plywood on that or if they were going to do it. Uh, we haven't gotten an answer on that. So our upper level is where it took a lot of our soffit work. You know, we built all these soffits. Uh, out of studs and stuff So I think guys and this is a, a recommendation moving forward I think that if we start to investing and in looking into the uh, Armstrong and Don system um, These are areas where it, it'll make it just a lot faster a lot easier and Time it, it'll just it'll just speed up our process big time. Uh, I have Don system But I, I wanted to save those for the staircase for the staircases uh, because of how, how how high they are and uh, just it'll make it a lot quicker and faster to get those out of the way <laughs> So none of this gets sheetrock all of this gets plywood on it All of these staircases all of this it gets plywood on it All the way up there. <laughs> These bathrooms, uh, Tim, I had sent you an email uh, what I was missing in them, and I haven't been able to sheetrock these bathrooms due to plumbers need to move there. They need to they need to move these over two inches, and I've been waiting up on them, and they're gonna move every single one of them, you know. So. It's just really holding me up, and can I, they said they were gonna get up there this week, but uh, we, you know, we're staying pretty busy on all these soffits and stuff, so that's been keeping us uh, really busy. So as you guys know, we did all of the the, the permal barrier, the uh, on on the whole building, and every and anywhere where we did where we had dense glass. We did the perma barrier on it, and we are 100% complete with all of that exterior uh, barrier. On. Again, this is another one of those staircases. So we have that ceiling in here. So as soon as I get uh, I get closer on these uh, on these uh, on my reflective stuff, uh, is when I'm gonna start jumping in here. back on main level so here we have all this uh, you know ceilings in here again same issue But these are those quicker bathrooms to drywall and rock right away, you know, so as soon as they get that done, we'll knock that out. So we're walking towards the auditorium, and I excuse me if I'm moving so much, it's kind of hard to. So these are those butterfly looking like soffits that we built. Oh, 
off the field. So here's where we're holding off on too. We have a big ball that goes from end to end all the way up. So it goes here, here, back in there, here, and all the way up. So we're waiting. Block players are working on that right now. As soon as they get done, our wall sits right on top of their block. And, you know, we go right up with it. So we're just waiting up on them. This is area E. This is E. Again, this is another one of those deals that we we have to wait and wait and wait so these guys can get it done. You know. In fact, I've been, I had been wanting to build this soffit here, and they didn't want me to because they needed to stub those out. But, you know, I just couldn't keep waiting, so they're, in, they're gonna end up stubbing them out from, from the back of the wall, they have access to it, and we'll be able to stub them out there. situation. Carl Sanderson hasn't decided what they're gonna do here on this wall. If they're gonna build it out or they were, they were talking about moving it back. So still waiting up on them on that one. Take you guys downstairs real quick. The lower level In here, down here, uh, all of our all of our walls are complete. The only areas that were missing uh, drywall is an area where they had to uh, uh, I had to remove because they were going to move the washer and dryer. But uh, we have some ceilings in here, some soffit work, in here, minor soffit work, and it's 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 on the plan. Uh, Tim, if you can look at it, it's, uh, I, I marked it out on that email that I sent you on Tuesday, uh, the 22nd. And we have a long soffit that runs down right here. So, uh, that pretty much sums it up, guys. If you guys have any questions, give me a call. I just wanted to uh, give you a rundown on uh, what we got going on out here. Morning. Right. Thank you, guys.